is. The vampire is in another coffin. Hello, creatures, and welcome to this emergency meeting, DLC for vampire survivors. Let's get things started off right. We're gonna jump in with a very basic build to make sure that we unlock everything that we can as quickly as possible because we need to at least unlock a few crewmates before we can fully experience this new update. But don't worry, there is also a new map for us to check out and plenty of new enemies. You'll notice this looks a little familiar if you've ever played Vampire Survivors before. Now, the thing that we need to do here, not only defeat the game, defeat the map, as is the usual, but you'll notice there's a lot of objectives on the map. And I think these are all, all the crewmates that we can unlock in the game. Also a few extra items. So I might actually, what the heck are even any of these? I might just spend this whole session running around, unlocking all of them and experiencing all of the new items that we can play with. Not a particularly big fan of Summon Knight, but I don't think I've evolved this one yet. Hmm. Why not make the game just a little bit more difficult by picking up this as well? It does give you extra bonus my cooldown speeds and all of those things, so maybe it'll actually balance out. It's been such a minute since I've actually played Vampire Survivors that this could be a little difficult. I actually have a wiki up right now because I don't remember most of the things I will actually need to do anything in this game. But yeah, it looks like we have the stuff that we need to actually fully evolve Clock Lanta and Laurel. So that's probably a part of our goal as well. All right, if Summon Knight's coming up again, I think we have to pick it up and make it a good item. You know what? Uh, since I haven't actually unlocked it, I think this is perfectly fine. Hello? Yes, it is a destructible. Oh, this is absolutely massive. What, what a huge deal I think this is for them. Vampire Survivors started out so small it's a three dollar game with and now it has all this extra dlc all this extra fun great stuff and now they're collaborating with with among us to create dlc and that is so huge i mean i think among us probably has a similar kind of story but i feel like among us is just such a big deal okay if i'm going to evolve my whip i'm going to need hollow heart so that way i can evolve the other whip as long as i can get it because oh wow uh, those crewmate look a little a little off here all right, we need to make our way over. It looks like there's an item off to the very far right. And then, oh, some very zombie looking crewmates hanging out in the other sections as well. I literally just went to try and use my map button, but I, I know that that's not a key and, oh, we are taking some damage here. I should probably be a little bit more careful here. I think we have, yeah, we have extra speed and everything going on here. We haven't beat, the, beat this stage yet. Wait, wait, hold on. Oh no, I actually, oh no. I actually have to navigate the map because there are, I'm assuming this is a wall. Yep, that makes plenty of sense. Of course it's a wall. Okay, it looks like we are just above the map relic. So I just, I don't want to get stuck in this area because it's gonna become a problem. And I really gotta stop picking up more Toronto's box. We need a couple more updates to some of our weapons. That way we can actually delete some of these crewmate or imposters, ghosts, whatever. I Seismic activity detected. Press the button, what do you mean? Wait, there's actual like time events here? You don't look like crewmates. What is going on here? Uh oh, uh oh, okay, well, wow, this is a very colorful update. Oh, I'm just walking into zombies. Oh, okay, I I should have played way more Among Us because I don't I don't know this map in the slightest bit, like I probably should. Ooh, look, lava. Yeah, this is kind of amazing. I love it so much. How many, okay, so are these characters just ones that they, Oh, my mouse is on the screen. Are these characters just ones that they designed on their own? Or do these actually actually have some sort of Among Us, like, history or something? I need to know. I have a feeling that they came up with these. Oh. Oh. What? Oh. Oh. Well, that's quite nice. Also, if you ever want to skip the cutscene, hit the escape button. I think it used to be the mouse button, but you can just hit the escape button and skip straight to the collect your items. So with that, okay, I swear that little icon down in the bottom there, where'd my map go? I'm like right next to the map. Wait, hold on. Can we actually see map layouts now if we pick this up? That would be very helpful. No way. Oh, that is so much better. Wow, okay, so now I can like actually navigate this area. I, I, wow, that is so awesome. I'm loving this DLC. Hey, if you're wanting to pick it up, by the way, 
They did give me a free key for it, but it looks like it's about 250 ish right now. It's on sale for, I think, maybe $2. So if you wanted to pick it up, it might be less than that. I don't remember. Normally it's 250 so if you want to pick it up for a good deal, go pick it up right now. Today is the launch day, and hopefully... No, I'm probably getting the video out later. I'm recording as it launches. Oop, there we go. A little upgrade. Yeah, I was really hoping to get early access into this, so that way I could actually make videos to release when the DLC release. But as far as I can tell, everyone is just now getting it. Even, like, other creators that have done a lot for a lot of Vampire Survivor stuff. A little bit of background stuff. I did actually, like asked to get extra get a key for this so thank you to the devs and whoever's behind the actual reason for me getting the key thank you so much yeah you know we'll pick up knife why not we've already got pretty directional build going on well except for that whole our first build Ooh, Kirby! come here mighty might occasionally shout at wait is this an item excuse me this is an item I'm making ridiculous noises. Oh, shoot. I thought this was... Okay, so the coffin. That... Okay, this is making way more sense. I gotta go head down and pick up the coffin. That explains why they looked like items, because they are actually just items. Okay, this is kind of awesome. How frequently are you gonna shout at other people? I'm not even seeing you do anything. Oh, I don't see any of the new weapons unlocks here. Oh, no, now we gotta go and press the button again. End the smell. We're definitely going to need some more movement speed. So what items actually upgrade with that? Shadow Pinion and Glass Fandango. All right, well, let's hope that we actually have the room for that. I, I just need movement speed to be able to get around the map way. Wait, hold on. We have a map now. Let's see. So if I go down here and up there, I imagine it's in this area. So we need to actually backtrack a little bit. Ooh, we get a little bit. Oh, we have zero pickup area. Oh, boy. I... Typically, when I'm building for Vampire Survivors, I go for damage, sure. But I also typically go for things like pick up area. What is this? Why do I have... Do I have garlic? What's going on here? Allegedly offers better moral support. <laughs> yeah, okay, give me some moral support, please. So, these passive items, this makes so much more sense from the DLC that I was looking at. These evolve with the crewmate-specific tools and weapons that you get. So you get specific weapons that are actually like crewmate based weapons. There's like a megaphone that evolves with this crewmate specifically. Okay, I wanna go for more. I'm gonna end up going for double duplicator. So lightning ring is probably not the worst thing for me to pick up. I'll go ahead and pick this up. It's not gonna be great at the start, but I'm hoping I'm a little stuck here. Oh, hey look, an exclamation point telling me exactly where to go. That could have been helpful. Ooh, big stone face boy, okay. Okay, we are going to need... I, I would love to get some pickup area. Wait, hold on. Is this... Is this like a double... What, what's going on here? Why do I seem to have a garlic effect without the item? Is this my crewmate? Like, is the crewmate giving me a weird garlic effect? That could be interesting. Do a double garlic? That would be actually quite a lot of fun. Okay, another knife. Okay, good. I'm still recording. I don't know what happened before, but I accidentally ended up doing a recording and didn't actually record and I was gonna be really really sad if I wasn't recording right now see so, yeah, I think we have everything that we need to get the upgrade for this little whip here that's a lot that's a lot of damage going on base damage by one. Oh no not the snow boys and better moral support okay so if I upgrade this does it change my oh no 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 no, no. wait hold on <gasps> oh no this is so much worse if you don't get down there in time, you get, like, really screwed. Oh! Well, this is awful. I should have picked up the extra revive earlier. I could really use some really good items here, please. Okay, we are really in trouble. Oh, my goodness. Please, we need so many more items. Oh, I definitely need this. Oh, crewmate only has three upgrades. Yeah, we're picking up the defensive item to try and save ourselves just a little bit. And now we're going to try and pick up... Oh, my... <laughs> This is amazing. I love it so much. Okay, we definitely want to fill out our passive items here. So I'm looking for a duplicator. Oh, I just realized that we picked up the laurel and that's our last weapon. No, 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 no. We will combine our whips and then we will be able to actually get an upgrade, get another weapon. And I want to get the lantern so we can actually like do some good damage. Oh, this is tricky. We need 
duplicator, and I'm looking for spinach. So we're going to go for more weapon upgrades while we're here. Wow, that's a lot of gems on the ground over here. We need to keep moving to keep this... Okay, well, that's painful. That's very... Come on! Okay, we need to make our way immediately to the buttons, so that way we don't get completely swarmed again. Again. I'm, don't mind me, I'm just dying, apparently. Wow, these... Oh, no, that's a timer, not a distance. Okay. Rushing... Wow. This is... This is rough. Oh! Do they always give legendary loot? That's kind of awesome. Oh, that's beyond awesome. We have to move immediately. That's a timer, not a distance thing. Wow, I am learning all kinds of very important things that you would have thought that would have been very obvious. Woo! Hey, a chest! No! Oh, my life! Come on, I'm trying to, trying to get through... Oh, no! Yeah, give me some more defense, please. I'm gonna need it. Oh, no. <laughs> this is terrifying. This is actually awful and terrifying. Seriously, is this... This has to be because of the crewmate. I don't know anything else I could have picked up by accident that would have given me this little upgrade. I could really you. Oh, okay, I've backed myself into a corner. This is fan. I don't have any healing. That's a big problem. I am realizing that this is a huge, huge. Please just let me through. I just want to walk through. Excuse me, Mr. Boss Man. I would like to. There we go. No imposters will be causing me any trouble. I love that as a timed to. to uh, I love that that's a timed event. So that way you actually have to go and collect it. And you get majorly rewarded for it too. Wait, okay, the ring. Yeah, I would like to get over and collect these items, but I haven't gotten any of the passive items that I want. I need to take out these bats so we can actually get some loot and some levels. Whoa, that's like a ton of legendaries coming on. That's good. I think we need to get the blue ones to max level too, but what the heck? Why are there cyborg robot people going on here? Okay, I think that we need to kind of hold off. Okay, well, the bats are pushing everyone into us. That's really nice. Jeez. Okay, can we take this guy out? I'm pretty sure he's a boss. I need to take you down quickly. There we go. We need a little bit of extra experience. Maybe it was already maxed out, and I just wasn't paying attention. Highly... Oh. I picked up a bunch of chests, and it definitely could have upgraded it without me knowing. Yep. This is great, though. We now have a, like, basically double legendary double upgrade evolution that's going on here. So that should make it a lot easier to actually get through. Because now we have healing and we can actually kind of just clear out most of these. So now, again, we need these passive items and I need levels. I'm only level 20. We are just not, we are not picking up actual like passive levels. I need to use my re-rolls. That's what I need to do. Uh, okay, all right. Roll, roll. This is literally my last re-roll. Man, I just have to get really lucky in the next couple. I really, really want spinach and duplicator so we can get a couple more evolutions. That's the whole name of Vampire Survivors, is getting those evolutions. If you get the evolutions, then you're just a lot more likely to have an easy game, really, because the evolutions become so much stronger. By the way, if you are if you haven't yet, go ahead, check out my other videos on Vampire Survivors. I have a very popular one, I would say, in how to cheese the game and pick up the Reaper very quickly. It's like a three minute video. Did you do everything that you need to know? I have confirmation that it does still work. Again, it's been a minute since I've actually played Vampire Survivors, so I haven't tested it out yet. New video idea coming up soon, probably. Woo, we are. Oh, now we're taking damage. Spinach! What is with that voice? I don't entirely understand it myself. Wow, there's a, there's a lot of death on the screen right now. I'd love to go and pick up more of the little guys off to the side. We're going to pick up more wings, because if we take out the wings and get them fully upgraded, then we're more likely to get another roll at more items, because it won't show up in the pool anymore. But it, taking that out does mean that we are a little bit more dangerous and not likely to get what we want. Yeah, I guess we're just going for more more enemy health. To, and does that just balance out to being that we, like, just even and doesn't... Oh! Well, there we go! That's quite nice. That's going to be a... Oh. I guess we're not upgrading our, our our swords. That's okay, I'd much rather upgrade the new item that I haven't played a whole lot with before anything else. We have to fully upgrade our duplicator before we can upgrade our little tooth. Okay, seriously, I need to like get moving. So where, wow, we are, oh, that could be useful. If we get the, what is it? The tarot card? If we get the tarot card that pulls everything into us, then we've got it solved. Done. Oh, right. The other item that we're looking for is Lancet. So that we can get, like, super crazy powerful. Yoink. Ooh. It does slightly more than just getting a few items close to you. That's nice. I love that that also picks up. Oh, you don't have to pick them up. 
I'm incredibly silly and don't think things through all the time. Wow. Let's it. The build is done. Wow, this is kind of the best little tarot card to pick up. Yeah, we're full build and amazing now. I do need to get Lance. Oh, wow. We are really just going to have to, you know what? Just going to do this a couple of times and not exactly think too hard about what we're picking up because, well, I'm just going to be upgrading Lancet and Laurel when it shows up and other things that seem uh, that Lancet was there and I didn't pick it up. Whoops. There's our third one. I don't have anything that synergizes with that. We do have crit chance in our one, two items. We have two items that synergize with crit chance. Come with a counterpart. What does that mean? What does that mean these come with a counterpart? All right, I guess we're getting slashed then. A little bit of extra crit chance is not a bad thing. We do need that. You know what? Oh, no, I need, I need, hold on. Stick around just a little bit longer. I need to get Lancet and Laurel max. Ooh, I accidentally picked something up. Restores HP based on amount and recovery. Interesting. That was a complete accident and I meant to pick something else up, but you know what? We've got everything here. It'll be fine. We're just gonna pick up all of the passive items. Ooh. I should have picked up the item that gives me extra, like extra, fires one more projectile, cool down. This is so cool. Oh, it's, it's a weapon. I didn't realize it was a weapon. Yeah, we got we got to max out Laurel. I in the next run, I will absolutely be checking out a full a full crewmate build. So if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, make it turn rainbow for me, so that way you don't miss out in the next video that's probably going up tomorrow or later today, depending on how crazy I enjoy this. I'm practically invincible now. Okay, all right. Let's go ahead and pick everything else up. Mighty might occasionally electrocute enemies. Might occasionally freeze enemies. Might occasionally throw science at enemies. Channels dark power. Might occasionally take a hit for you. Oh, this is awesome. Might occasionally fling leftover body parts at enemies. All right, I guess so. Oh, oh right. Picking up these little guys means that we get the extra boss guys to come and fight us. You know what? Fine, bring it. I'm just gonna pick up a couple of extra items so we can just continue doing some stuff. Oh, and because we have like a crazy amount of, here we go. I, this is so silly and I love it. We'll just pick some more, some more crewmate builds. Wait, hold on. Give me, please give me. Oh, an upgrade. I'll take it. Evolve summon knight. Also generates damage zones below the character. Right. Okay, I remember picking that up now. Look at all the little crewmates. Look at all the mini crewmates behind me. Wait. Isn't there supposed to be an imposter? Oh, there's one. My occasionally stab enemies. There's the imposter doing good work for me. Oh my goodness. Fires more projectiles, cooldown reduced. Oh, it's the scanner. Hey, let me know if you'd want to see some Among Us gameplay on, that is so many items. If you'd like to see some Among Us gameplay on the channel, my wife personally is a huge fan. That's disturbing. That's terrifying. That's part of my nightmares now. Wow, okay, this is awful. Wait, there's a thing down there that I didn't get. I, uh, I forgot to unlock stuff. I clipped the microphone so bad. Okay, we have five minutes. I just need to move. I need to move very, very quickly. Cooldown reduced by two seconds. Okay, so I need to move straight down. I need to move around this building. I need to pick upgrades because, well, I also want to see things just get upgraded and have, what is this massive area? There's so much going on and my ADHD is crazy right now okay i'm gonna run away from giant tentacle monster and hopefully not de get demonetized for it Ooh, what's with all these oh, we didn't take out i got gold fever all of a sudden <laughs> this is this makes sense why this game is so cr oh i'm stuck i really walked into the back alley and now i'm stuck great yeah we're definitely not wasting time here and not yeah, we're gonna have trouble getting oh my goodness We'll, we'll max out the lightning so that way we can get the upgrade. Ooh, hey, more, more experience. This sounds wonderful. I am getting so distracted and desperately need to get to the other side of the map because I, the whole point of this video was to unlock the imposter. If I don't unlock, unlock the imposter, then I have to go back and play the entire thing again, which is a, well, I guess this, oh, this might be like perfectly timed up to being like 30 minutes or so. I don't know how the edit looks, it should be slightly shorter because I try to cut out silent portions, but it doesn't work perfectly all the time. Wait, you lost your face. Oh, hey, a little upgrade. Thank you. So are you, oh, I think you might still be alive. That's kind of terrifying. 
So now you're just a face. That's, that's a thing. Hey, let me know in the comments down below, what's your favorite item to pick up in Vampire Survivors? Personally, my favorite is probably garlic. I love a big AOE, do no thinking kind of situation. We almost completely walked past the, the coffin. Wait, how do I, is the wall? Where is it? Found it. There it is. The vampire is in another coffin. I love the little bit of extra in the email or for the promotional. The whole thing says in the quest to add anything but a vampire. And I love that little bit of detail so much. This survivor will be in the next video. So make sure you're subscribed if you don't want to miss out. Oh, we should probably take out this little guy so we can get an egg, huh? Yeah, if you don't know, eggs are a permanent small increase to your characters every time that you pick them up. And pick up some more of these little life healing deals, allegedly. So they just keep giving more. So it is, hmm. I don't know how these characters actually work. They say allegedly, so I don't know if they're actually doing anything, which is slightly concerning for me. I, there we go. A little tiny bit of extra items here. I would love to see mod support add to Vampire Survivors. I think mod support makes games just amazing. Oh, that's a lot of XP. Hello. I think if you add mod support to any game, all of a sudden the lifespan of that game is practically infinite because the community adds extra content. Right now, my wife and I are personally playing through a whole bunch of mega modded Stardew Valley right now. And it is a whole different game. The same thing goes for like vampires. No, not that. Skyrim and plenty of other games that utilize a whole bunch of just mods. Please, Vampire Survivors, if you're thinking about it, please look into Steam for adding mod options. I love being able to just subscribe to a workshop item, instantly add it, not having to actually know how to do console commands or install really niche specific items. And it's usually a lot safer than trusting some online site. So please, if you're for some reason watching my video, please look into potentially adding mod support. I would love, love, love to see it. Back when this game, hey look, we got the Evolve for this weapon. Evolve lifespan scan periodically grants a random stat boost for the rest of the, that's amazing. That is awesome. Back when Vampire Survivors first started, I loved modding the game. It was so simple and easy to do. And can I just walk through here? I can't. It was so simple and easy to do because it was basically just reliant on a notepad, on a, I don't even remember, a JSON file. And it was a lot of fun. I did stuff like threw myself into the game and had a lo whole lot of fun with it. Again, those videos are on the channel. I believe I have a Vampire Survivors playlist. Check them out at the end of the vid video, please. That's the best way to support me if you want to see my channel go crazy big and see this video go wild. Yeah, YouTube really loves it when you click on to more videos after the first video. It's kind of a huge thing. Wow, I may never die here. Did I get an upgrade, Laurel? Nope, I, there we go. Uh, uh, I got, gave me some reminders of my video on cheesing death. I hope you all have a wonderful day and check out this video over there. I hear it's really good. Bye bye. Oh, we have both. We have two new crewmates. Oh, I'm so excited to check these out in the next video. I'd love to give a quick shout out to all the channel members. I'm Afralian, Pasta Luke, Lati 9 f one Todd Gyron. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. It means everything to me and brings my dream of being a full content creator one step closer. Bye-bye.